The Bemidji Police Department hopes to see the return of a canine unit this year. Last year, Bemidji Police started working towards establish, re-establishing that program. Reporter Zariah Simmons has more on what they're doing to get the program running. Bemidji Police Department has not had an active K-9 unit since the 1990s. Officer Rachel Niss insists that the K-9 unit be re-established to the chief and was approved. Since the program is starting from the bottom, they are looking to do fundraisers and help from the community to start the journey of bringing it back. The biggest thing right now is the budget is that is what's um, the biggest hiccup. So we, I go to school in March of this year for 12 weeks and we're hoping to have uh, our budget by in within six to six months to a year. The goal for BPD is to raise at least $130,000 and with the funds they will be able to purchase a dog, send Officer Niss and the dog to be trained and have a fully equipped vehicle for the K-9 unit. We're going to be using a company called Performance Kennels out of the Twin Cities. Uh, he, he's known for all of his, he trains police dogs. Um, so we'll be training with dogs that are being trained to bite and we'll be training with other dogs that are just being trained for detection or tracking. Officer Ness hopes to change the environment in the Bemidji community and help Bemidji Police Department with the new K-9 unit. Bemidji is seeing a, a large effect with drug overdoses and so I'm really hoping that we can help reduce that number of drug overdoses by taking those drugs out of our community. Um, we also have there's nobody else in this community, no one, no other police dogs that are trained to, to track missing people. Most other police dogs are trained to, in, in bite work. So this, something unique about this dog is that it won't be trained to bite. So we will be able to track missing people and nonviolent subjects. Reporting in Bemidji, I'm Zariah Simmons, Lakeland News. The Bemidji C D Police Department will be keeping the community updated on the K-9 unit and we'll have more information on the Lakeland News website. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.